How do you think it's the all my doodles? Hey doodles! Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. A friend of mine gave me this. Be wild. And it's a hair dye that you spray on and it washes out. It's like temporary hair color for his temporary for the time being. So I'm going to temporarily take my hair scrunchy and I'm going to do this much of my hair and pin it up. And I'm going to do this much of my hair red with this dye when I open it up and give it a whirl and let y'all do a review and tell you what I think because I know my husband will probably kill me when he comes up, what the hell did you do to your hair? I said, oh, it's just a little temporary redness. So, a friend of mine was... So let me give it a whirl. I'm digging my red lips, and they've been my lips have been like this all day. So let's give it a whirl. Yeah, it's not working out, huh? Say it's not working out. Yeah. Sorry about that. Ain't nothing to do with you when you come to the highway. Well, you're valued here by me. Got it? Thanks. Oh my goodness. Right. And it does get on you, so. <laughs> Ooh. Oh my god, it does get on you. Okay. Okay, think about it first. What if something bad comes along? I'm not gonna lie. It gets on your It is getting on my orange shirt, but that's okay, because it is washable and it does wash out. But the hard reality is this business is about two things that you don't have very much of. Jeez, you're not going to make it at almost 30 in Hollywood. So my hair is absolutely wet from the spray and it does like get into your hands it's still wet from the spray sorry and you actually get it on your hands because it's not like totally totally dry so if I wasn't on camera a while ago I was off because I was trying to get one of my makeup remover wipes to try to get the stuff off of my hands Last that is still on, yeah, so. Come on, man. You said you cleaned it. It's stinks in here. Hey. Oh, no. I scraped on the roof. 
Oh yeah, Jason Feist is me. No, actually, it's for Brad Pitt. Pitt's not home. Come to think of it, he's barely ever home these days. So I'll take you. Okay. Thank you. All right, see what he's got. Thelma and Louise. What's that? No clue, dude. Sounds like a chick flick. And the wire and I auditioned for it. Oh, yeah. You're definitely as pretty as me. Uh, <laughs> Thanks, Mariana. But it's actually coming off. And if you use the wipe in the hair, it like really comes off too. So let's go to world and see if it dries and see what it looks like. Cause I look good with red in my hair. Okay, so we're gonna see if it dries and what it looks like. See if it is dry. Um, I'm assuming since some of it is dry and some of it's not dry and stuff, I'm assuming. All the actors I like for Brenda and Brandon are available. It's a legitimate problem. All the better teen actors are already on shows. Hall High, Parker Lewis, Wait, wait, wait. You're telling me that 90210 or spelling production is considered being in the sound? That's what I'm telling you, Aaron. The talent pool is thin for us. This is what it comes down to. Okay, we so I'm going to pull a little bit just to see. Fox is going to pull a plug on the whole thing. What's the problem? Can't find the right actors for the leads at 90210. Why didn't you ask me? I know who all the best young actors are, Dad. Alright. Who do you think should play Brandon Walsh? You know that show, Sister Kate? NBC, I hear it's not coming back. There's this awesome guy on it. Jason Priestley. This kid? That's the one. Hire him. So, let's give it a whirl. And I will take... <laughs> take it down and make video, another video with my hair like this later. Okay, so bye and tell me what you think about my hair being a little bit of pinch of redness. Some of it's dry and some of it's not. So bye later. Mm.